when I was riding my bike, I had like the most embarrassing accident. Good morning, everybody. So today is actually a Tuesday, but I don't have school. So that's very exciting. Today is just going to be a day in my life without school, but also I have a lot of school work to do. So still going to be kind of busy today, but at least I don't have to go to school and I can catch up on all of my schoolwork. So that's really good. I actually really needed this day off because so much schoolwork that I'm just like behind on. I'm well, not behind, but like I just need to get it done. Yeah, I'm gonna make brekkie right now. And of course I'm making my chocolate oatmeal. I feel like it's kind of a given at this point. However, look what I have again. My Quaker oats. So if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, I bought this like store brand of oats and they just weren't as good. But actually, I have a new way of cooking these now. I now add more water and cook them for longer because I've realized that I think I was like under cooking the Quaker Oats. I don't think I was doing enough water either. I'll just, I'll show you guys what I do. So, you get a half cup of oats. Well, a little bit over a half cup. And then I do a fourth cup of milk and a half a cup of water. I used to do a fourth cup of milk, fourth cup of water, but now I do a full half cup of water. You're actually supposed to do a whole cup of liquid. I just do three fourths cup. So I could maybe try more liquid, but I don't think it needs it. I don't know how I used to only do a half cup of liquid, but somehow I did. And you're also supposed to microwave it for two and a half to three minutes, which I used to only do a one and a half minutes. Yesterday I did one minute and then I did a minute and a half. And I feel like they turned out better, so I'm gonna do that. The only thing is they literally almost like overflowed, so you just have to like watch them carefully in the microwave um, to make sure it doesn't overflow. So we're gonna put it in for a minute, stir it, and then a minute and a half. But today, my family all wants me to go and try to find a job. And by my family, I mean my grandma and my uncle were like talking about it at Mother's Day dinner like saying how I should try to find a job before all the kids come like to all the places and try to get a summer job but like I really don't feel like it <laughs> I don't have time like I have so much to get done today and I just don't feel like thinking about that I'm trying to find a job I don't even know if I want a job anymore because I babysit and it's like gonna take up a lot of my time already so like do I want another job I don't know I don't know Oats always seem super liquidy, but you just have to trust the process. They get, they don't stay liquidy after. I like to let mine sit for five minutes. That definitely helps like, absorb the liquid. I'm just going to cut up some strawberries. Oh, also update, the fridge is still actually stayed neat. So that's good. If you didn't watch my last vlog, I like cleaned the whole fridge. It's still looking good, so I'm proud. I'm going to get all my fruits ready for my oat. Okay, here's the consistency straight out of the microwave super duper liquidy but trust me you just gotta wait and they get they get really good okay so here's them after sitting for like five minutes see they're just not as liquidy at all much harder i could definitely wait a little bit longer but i'm low-key too impatient so so i just came outside because i'm gonna eat out here on my deck got my ipad we're gonna look at the beautiful view and eat my beautiful chocolate oats. All right guys, so I just got changed into a sweatshirt and leggings and I'm gonna go on a walk. Um, this is like my favorite thing. Like, I just love mornings. Like breakfast and a nice long walk is like just my ideal morning. I'm gonna go do that and then come home and try to get some of my schoolwork done. I feel like the earlier I get it done, the better. Cause then if I get it all done, I can just relax for the rest of the day. I'm gonna try to do that, but let's go on our walk. So I just got back from my walk. I am so sweaty right now. I wore two layers again, which I don't know why I keep doing that, but like at first it's always like cool out and then it gets really hot. So I took off my sweatshirt, but I am sweating. So I think I might go take a body shower, get changed into some shorts, but it was a good walk. I did like five miles, which was really good. I'm clean, feeling much better. I'm gonna empty the dishwasher. I swear it feels like we run this thing every single day and it just gets full every second. Um, but I'm gonna go work on some of my schoolwork now. It's like 11 right now and I just wanna try to get some of it done. I'm gonna start off with my essay because 
That's my number one priority. Well, actually, it's a research paper, not an essay, but I guess a research paper is an essay in a way. I don't even know. I might sit outside and work on it since it's so nice. I feel like that'll boost my mood a little bit about it. But I really don't feel like doing it. So I've been working on some schoolwork for like an hour and I genuinely feel like my brain's gonna explode. So we're gonna take a break and sit outside and breathe because that is much more relaxing. And I need something relaxing right now because I'm just feeling very overwhelmed about my schoolwork. But I'm just gonna read for a little. I'm currently reading Someone Else's Shoes by Jojo Moyes. I don't know how to say that. It's so good. I love it. It's such a nice, like, chill read. And it's just, like, a nice, relaxing, casual type of read. I really like it a lot. And Grackle, actually, she read it, and that's where I got the recommendation from. And, yeah, I really like it. So, I'm going to read this for a bit. Look at my happy little boy. Benjamin. Ben. Do you want to go inside? He looks so happy. Oh my god, there's a bee. Oh my god, it's huge. Oh my god, it's coming. Oh my god, it's oh my god, it's coming. Hi Ben. Oh do you need some water? So we're gonna walk to Ross and maybe CVS. Literally just for fun. We're not really looking for anything specific, but we just like to walk up there sometimes when we're bored. So let's go. I might ask the CVS people about the job, but probably not, but maybe, but we'll see. So it's open. Not the St. Ives. Oh, I smell something. Let me smell it. I don't really smell it. Guys, we just got back from shopping. So we went to Ross, Wait, Dollar Tree, and CVS, but we only bought stuff at CVS. So we're gonna give you guys a little haul of what we got from CVS. We always just have, we have a nail polish addiction. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, we don't have any of these ones, right? I hope not. I don't think so, no. no so, yeah, we have a nail polish problem, so every time we go to CVS, we're we end up- We're not even gonna be able to fit them all. I know. We end up buying more. So. First color we got is this really pretty blue. Okay, this whole thing is shaking. Can you stop shaking the table? Shoot, Why are you I putting your phone in there? <laughs> Girl, you're shaking the whole thing. Um, so we got like all their like beachy, like new summer colors. So we got this really pretty bright blue called Vitamin C, but C with S-E-A. And then this really pretty purple. It's called Wave Rider. Because we have like no purples really. Well, we do have some purple, but we don't have anything like that and then we got a white because we literally don't even have a white and this one's called icing on the cake but there was one that looked exactly the same and then last one is this bright pink pretty one called do you pink about me because we also don't have like a good pink we don't have the same pink yeah all our pinks are kind of ugly very excited about that and then i'm going to show them what you got okay so she got a new mascara because she was running out. It's just the CoverGirl Lash Bass Clean in very black. This is her favorite. Um, we got this to share to try out for the first time. Very excited. I love new skincare. So this is the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser for normal to dry skin. It's supposed to be really good. We looked it up and yeah. So we're going to try it out. I'll up you guys if it's good and stuff, but that's my little haul. So it is like 6 o'clock, and I'm going to start preparing my dinner. No, Ben. What, you want to go outside? So I'm going to be making pasta with just a bunch of assortment of vegetables and chicken. Got some grape tomatoes, some peppers, zucchini, onion, spinach, mushrooms, and broccoli. Lots of stuff going on. So we're just gonna like cut everything up and all that jazz. I'm also cooking my sister some rice in this little rice cooker. I don't know what she's making, but something with rice. Um, but I finished a lot of my homework. I'm so happy. So that's good. I'm pretty ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow we actually get to sleep in though because there's testing going on at my school right now. So um, I'll have a nice long morning, so that's exciting. But then on Thursday and Friday, I have to do the test taking, so I have to wake up at 
Well, I have, to, I have to be at school at 7.30, so I have to wake up at like 6. So sorry if you can hear the TV. My sister's watching Modern Family. Today has been just a very schoolwork-focused day, so I'm sorry if this vlog is very boring. But later tonight, I think I'm gonna paint my nails with a new nail polish color, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, just have a chill night, because now all my schoolwork is done for the most part. Just cutting some tomatoes. What else is new? Also tomorrow, or not tomorrow, on Thursday, I have to babysit by myself for the first time because my sister has her senior portraits, which I don't really understand because she's a junior and they just take senior portraits already. I don't know why, but she's going to be there, so she's not going to be able to help me babysit. And I'm scared. There's our tomato. Got the mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They're so good. Look how cute they are. I bought the like full ones. They're so cute. I made my dinner and I'm gonna eat out back as per usual. Um, it looks so good. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit out here, watch some YouTube, you know the vibes. So guys, when I was riding my bike, I had like the most embarrassing accident. I mean, it was, it was tragic. So I was riding and I was trying to film me riding and I was trying to take a picture of me riding the bike. That was a big mistake. Um, this is a message to everyone out there. Do not go on your phone while you're riding a bike. Not a good idea. Because I hit the brake really sharply like very aggressive and I did the front brake of the front tire which I never used that brake but I had my left hand on it because I had my right hand with my phone and I broke like I brake broke broke I braked I don't know really sharp and I flipped over the bike and the worst part was there is this woman who works at my elementary school who lives on my street and she was walking her dog right in front of us and I had just like waved hi and she was like looking at us and she watched me flip off the bike and it was so embarrassing because I was like taking a picture and she was probably like why is that girl on her phone while riding a bike so it was kind of my fault totally my fault I don't know how I didn't break my phone I crushed it like I landed right on it but I got the picture and it's in the thumbnail, so I had to use it in the thumbnail because I didn't take that for nothing. And there was also another woman, like, walking, and she was like, oh my god, are you okay? But I just, like, came right home and started crying. But then I went back out and rode the bike because I really wanted to go on a bike ride. Um, even though my knee is, in fact, injured, um, and it does hurt quite a bit, but I went on the bike ride anyway because I wanted to. So that was my tragic story. Um, but anyway... We got over it. My elbow also kind of hurts. Oh, that's right now. It's like 9.30. I'm going to get my little snacky poo. I don't usually tend to go for the green apples. This is a Granny Smith. Don't usually go for the green, but when I went to the food store the other day, they only had like big ones that were green. Like I usually just pick the biggest apples. Um, and this was like the biggest ones. They were all the green ones, so just went with the green ones. So we're gonna have that. There's nothing wrong with the green ones. I just prefer red. Like Fuji apples, honey crisp, pink lady. Yeah, I'm painting my nails. I love the blue color. It's so fun. But I think I'm gonna end today's vlog here. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time not having to go to school. I'm absolutely dreading school tomorrow. But I don't have to go until later. So that'll be good. I can get a good old walk-in in the morning. I love doing my walks in the morning because like after school I'm just so tired it's a, just such a good way to start my day it puts me in such a good mood I'm excited for that but yeah thank you for watching see you in the next vlog peace out girl scouts mm -hmm.